Breaking news, my wonderful people. Hey, have you seen the video? I guess you would have seen it what's happening currently right now. I guess you would have seen it. Here in Lagos State, they are imposing Tinubu sticker and they still want people to pay for it. So it's not freely, they are sharing it. They say you must buy it. Okay, and it's 500 naira and you must buy it. It has been so that you do look like you are with Tinubu. This is what is happening and they are imposing it on or everybody, whether you are Igbo, you are Yoruba, you are Aousa, you are Delta, you are whatever, wherever. So they are, you know, use is a form of, a, you know, advert. So a keke rider refused to buy, and you will be surprised how this guy, this uh, this guy has been treated. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Twenty twenty three, MC Olumo react to five hundred naira. Tinubu sticker imposed on Lagos KK drivers. The news that some officers of Lagos State Park and Garage Managers are allegedly imposing a 500 Naira Tinubu sticker on tricycle drivers is becoming disturbing. But reacting to the development, the chairman of the organization, Wasio Akinsoye, a.k.a. MC Olumo, said he did not impose the levy. MC Olumo also stated in a video on Tuesday, September the 20th, that proper investigation will be carried out on this, that he did not impose it and it is not compulsory for anybody to buy. The video has gone viral on how this man was treated for refusing to buy Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's ticket, which was imposed on him. The attention of uh, Akinsoye Musiu, aka MC Olumo, the chairman of the Lagos State Park and Garage Management Committee, has been brought to a viral video of a 500 naira sticker bearing the image of Bola Ahmed Tinubu imposed on tricycle riders. Reacting to the news on Tuesday, September the 20th, MC Olumo said he knew nothing about the orientation of the imposed levy and claimed that he did not order it and does not understand what is going on at all. In the in the said clip, a uh, supposed officer of the body said was pushing a man to... MC Lumo said he has no knowledge of what is going on at all and that the general public should disregard this. In the clip, he was seen posting, posting stickers on the windscreen of a commercial vehicle while the owner restrained him and makes audio comments from his colleagues that this is not right. The said sticker also had on it MC Olumo's face, that of Tinubu, governor of Lagos State, Sanwulu, and others. In his response to the development shared via Instagram, the committee boss said that the actual location of the incident so that they can investigate and carry out the necessary actions. However, he noted that during this time, when elections are near, some political parties will do whatever to outsmart themselves to make it look like the other party is imposing themselves on people. MC Olumo said Tinubu has a lot of money to fund his presidential campaign and will not go into cheap blackmail of people so this is what is happening okay and um, it's rather very unfair okay it's rather very unfair it's not right what we're what we're doing it's not right at all okay we can't do that to people you just watch the video and you saw for yourself it's not right it's not right at all okay it's not right and it's not right i, I mean we can impose i mean people are working hard people are doing what they can okay people are doing what they can to feed their family you not imposing ticket on them is unfair this is not right at all this is not right in any way form or kind you see mc olumo um he said he will investigate we'll wait and see the results of the investigation and he tried to claim tinubu's name that um, tinubu can actually fund his campaign he has that kind of money and it's not um something that you know can be overemphasized you know but whatever it is my people let's not allow anybody be the ones to you know decide for us what happens let's not allow people you know take over our position and impose themselves on us all in position that they want to lead 
we must be very, very sure on where we are, what we're doing, and how we're moving forward. We can't allow some persons in whatever way, form, or kind to continue to do what they want to do because you are the governor, because you are the senator, then you ride on people. It's wrong. Now, what is wrong is wrong. There is no other name for it. It is wrong. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Don't give it another name. It is wrong. You know, when MC Ulumo had problem with um, the you know, Moto uh, Association, you know, Tinubu quickly devised a means and bailed him out. So you can say it's Tinubu's son, not biological, but I mean, Tinubu's political son or whatever way you want to put it. So he looks out for Tinubu. So if really this is one of their ways of promoting Tinubu, you don't have to impose it on people. Fair enough, you want to do your campaign. I don't believe anybody should you know, hold you back from campaigning for whoever you choose this, I mean, to campaign for. However, don't impose it on people and do it at their detriment and go ahead and begin to, you know, do whatever you want to do because you want to, you want to get into a position at all costs. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. His face was on the poster, um, his face was on the poster, the, the governor of Lagos State, and, um, you know, it's not right at all. We don't do that. We don't do that. You don't, you don't, oppression is wrong. It is wrong. It's a, it's a big no-no. It's wrong. We should not be oppressing people. When you oppress people, guess what? They will, someone will fight for them because you have what it takes. They can't fight back. And so you take advantage of that. And you go ahead and, you know, impose yourself on them and begin to do whatever you think you are doing. It's very wrong. It's very, very wrong. So let's not do that, okay? Let's not do that. MC Olumo, investigate and ensure that you are looking after your people and you're doing the right thing. Just make sure that you're doing the right thing. Just make sure you're doing the right thing. I don't have a problem. We don't have a problem with anybody, you know, campaigning for whichever candidate you want to campaign for. By the way, from 28th day of this month of September, you know, it becomes official. You can, in fact, do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want. Campaign however you want to campaign, but not at the expense of people. Don't impose yourself on people. Let it come natural. Let them find you. Let them let them want to you know support you. Don't impose yourself on, on them. Don't do that. It's terrible. It's not a good place to be at all. At all. It's not a good place. You can't do that. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.